Hello everyone, this is Ashrad and in this video we'll learn how to install some additional packages to your existing Python installation. Now before we begin, uh, let me explain what we are uh, doing in this in this tutorial. Uh, when you install Python, it comes with uh, the default functionality. But Python allows you to install several uh, other libraries for your purpose. For example, if you want to work with arrays, uh, you have to install a package called as NumPy. Uh, or you are working with any data science application, for example, you need to install another package which is suitable for that type of application. So Python has a very rich set of library and uh, it allows you to install the functionality in the form of packages uh, as per your choice. So let's begin. Now to install uh, additional packages, you first uh, need to go to your computer and you need to go in the directory where you have installed Python. It's mostly program files or program files x86. Like on my computer, it's in here, program files x86. So the folder name is Python 3832 as you can see it's right here in this folder you have to go to scripts folder and here you will find these files now these are actually utilities uh, that I use for different uh, uh, doing different things in Python you will understand them after some time but right now we are interested in this particular utility called as PIP it's known as Python installation package and uh, this is basically used to install additional packages and that's exactly what we are doing here. So how to use this utility? Okay, first of all you need to copy this address which is, which is, which is shown here in the address bar. Just copy it and then click on your start button and type cmd. It should search an application called as command prompt. Right click on it and you have to run it as administrator. Click on this option and say yes. And this is how it looks. So right now it shows that we are currently in this directory called as system32. Now to use this utility PIP we first need to, to change this directory to this directory. So the command which is used to do it is cd which is change directory of course space and then paste the address that we copied earlier. And as you can see your directory is now changed. Now you have to type a command called as pip install there's a space in between and then give one more space and then here you have to type the name of the package whichever you want to install so in this video we are going to install four packages because these four packages are uh, used by all the programmers so the first of them is called as numpy or numpy whatever you want to call it so you write pip install numpy and press enter now make sure while you are doing all this you are connected to internet because it collects all the files online and then it installs the uh, latest version of whatever package you are installing so on my computer it was already installed earlier so it is saying requirement already satisfied but in your case it will first download the package and it will install it will take one or two minutes or so so this is what it is okay so the second package is pip install and the name of the package is pandas okay pandas is a very powerful library for creating data driven applications so just press enter and just like numpy it says it has already been installed so 
that's it in your case of course it will take time the third package I'm going to install is pip install matplotlib now this is a directory which allows you to create charts and graphs okay like pie chart or bar chart or line chart or whatever so to be able to create uh, these charts you need to make sure that this library is installed with your current python installation right so press enter and it is installed it says it's already installed okay the fourth and the last package we are going to install here is called as pip install and the name of the package is mysql dash connector dash python make sure there is no space in the name it's one word mysql dash connector dash python you have to use the hyphen sign here remember not the underscore sign so and and of course don't make any spelling mistakes because otherwise it won't be able to search uh, this this package online or you might uh, end up installing a different package which is not required all right so press enter now and like in the earlier cases on my computer it was already installed so it says requirement already satisfied so now we have uh, all these four packages uh, installed on our on uh, our computer with the current python installation okay so this is basically it for this video i hope you have understood uh, and like uh, these four packages we have installed you can install any other packages you want but uh, just make sure you know the correct name of the package because you know uh, there are different packages with the same name existing online so so many of them so just don't make any mistake install the correct package so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it if you do then uh, please share comment and like and do subscribe to my channel thank you